Health experts are warning of a possible new flu pandemic that is threatening the United States. And One America's Jack Posobiec talked to a George Washington University professor to discuss. We're very excited to welcome to the show Stephen Hatfield. He's an adjunct professor at George Washington University Medical School in two separate departments. Professor Hatfield, thank you so much for coming and joining us on the show today. Thank you very much, Jack. It's nice to be with you. Now, I recently read a report that your office had forwarded over to us regarding disaster preparedness in the event of an outbreak for, like influenza, but also potentially like a biological weapon that could be used by one of America's adversaries or a terrorist organization. What steps have or have not local governments uh, made in terms of preparing for some such as a, a pandemic? Well, the Department of Health and Human Services made funds available for local communities so they could start planning uh, just how they would respond to such an event like this. And they gave a model. This is what a, uh, a 1918 type event, the CDC flu surge model. Uh, so these are the percentage casualties you can be expected to have. This is the percentage of ventilators for your population that, that, and intensive care that you may need to have. So uh, local authorities have taken the money and they've done paper plans and there the matter seems to have stopped. We had paper planned for Katrina in New Orleans. When the hur big hurricane came through there, that plan had been rehearsed the year before. And the federal government did its response, the state did its response, and New Orleans wasn't prepared. It didn't come through with their part of the plan and the whole thing failed and the military had to come in. Now, based on that, do you think there might be a similar type situation that would happen in a pandemic with these large cities, mega cities that we now have throughout most of the East Coast here in Washington, D.C., where we're located, where we might need to see a level of military intervention should the local government infrastructure collapse? Yeah, I think I think there would almost have to be. And uh, the Department of Defense, you know, God bless them. They do look ahead. Um, this started out as a response to a chemical or biological incident or radiological event. But they've established a what they call a, a, a CBRN uh, response enterprise. And it's some 18,000 highly trained soldiers that are operated under NORTHCOM and uh, working through the Joint Task Force for Civil Affairs designed specifically to come in and provide whatever needed support is required to a local community. One piece of the report that I wanted to ask about specifically caught my eye was this use of a potential disaster train that could actually travel between uh, the different cities. This is a concept we've been working on for about 20 years. We have some new technology now. And the ability to have something in a self-contained mobile package uh, ready to go with people that are trained and rehearsed it just seem like the way to do things you know mass casualties of this extent that we're talking about mass illness in many ways will resemble a battlefield well thank and you so much for that and um please stay in touch and we'll hope we have you back on again want to see more videos like this Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.